Google Ads Expert Mode. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Google Ads Tutorial in Expert Mode. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, what you're going to do is you're just simply going to click on Start Now. And once you've clicked on it, it'll take you to the next part of this website. If you see over here at the bottom, it says switch to expert mode. And this is what we're going to be doing. This option just basically gives you a bit more clarity, a bit more options and gives you a little bit more choices on what you actually want to do with your ads account. So we're going to click on switch to expert mode. Now over here, as you can see, so you have to select the objectives that you need for your campaign. So sales, leads, website traffic, uh, product and brands, uh, create a campaign without a goal, local store, app promotion, brand awareness, whatever it is that you want, you can access over here. So for this one, we want to choose uh, website traffic for you. Of course, your goal is going to be different. So you can choose whichever one you need. For me, this is just an example. I'm going to be choosing website traffic. You just simply select your goal and then it's just going to select the campaign type. Now over here, as you can see, this is how it will look like. So you have searches, uh, performance, max display or discovery in searches. Basically, when you search on Google, it'll show as as an ad. So for example, if I come over here onto a new tab and I just simply search for uh, Wix over here, as you can see this tiny button that says ad, this is your ad right here as you can see this one as well and this one as well these are the ads this is how the search mode is going to show you then you have performance this is basically where you reach audiences across google with a single campaign it's just going to show ads within ads within ads then you have display which basically helps you reach customers across 3 million sites and apps this ad your campaign ad is going to be over here onto the right hand side and then you have the discovery basically it'll run a ad on youtube gmail or discover if i come over here and i go to youtube like here as you can see over here google ads basically this is how it would look like but this is also how it would look like while you're playing a video and it'll show up at the bottom so this is how it would look like you just choose which type of campaign you want it all depends on you and then you have video as well this is basically uh, skippable ads that you get on youtube or shopping as well so it all depends on you we're going to be choosing search and over here we just enter in our business website and then we just simply click on continue now over here as you can see this is going to be the name of your campaign and this is the search network and display network over here you can choose if you want these it all depends on you uh, since we chose this one we're going to be choosing this and as you can see google automatically gave us this option as well so after you've created your campaign they would charge you a few extra dollars for this as well and you wouldn't even know it if you were using the simple mode so this is why i recommend using the expert mode so we're going to be choosing one type of display and this is it and then we have to choose the location so this is very important. The more accurate the location is, the more it's going to cost you. And the more broader search you do, um, the more less it's going to cost you. For example, if you wanted to location options right here or enter in another location, for example, a country, a city or a region or a postal code, it'll be OK. So, for example, if I were to select the entire uh, United States, we're going to be choosing this one over here. This is going to be our reach and we want to select a target is going to be a more precise or narrower search let's say new york this is going to cost us extra so we can even add more locations to it but it all depends on you and then we want to add language so we have english which is the most common language so we're going to keep it like that and then we have our budget so let me just actually change it to usd so you guys can understand and then we have to enter in our budget this is going to be the main budget or your ads now what i recommend if this is your first campaign then go as low as possible then you can increase it later on and see how it fits right for this one this is going to be your budget for the month so this is going to be your daily budget so we'll just put ten dollars all right which is going to be like three hundred dollars per month and then our bidding what do you want to focus on whether it's clicks other optimization option conversion value whatever we want to have more uh, people come to our website so for that we're gonna choose click 
and we are good to go and we can even set a maximum cost per click bid as well so since our daily budget is 10 i would say maybe one or two dollars actually that means in a day we're gonna have five clicks to our website and as i said before it's not much but for beginners it's okay and then you can go ahead and increase your budget so that you can have more people and more clicks to your website and then you can have more settings over here but we don't have to go into that and then we just simply click on save and continue so this is the first step right setting up our campaign next is to set up our ad group then we have to create an ad and then we have billings so this is going to be ad group number one we have our website over here now we have to enter in the product or service that we advertise so over here as you can see we have to enter in our keywords i entered in streetwear these are all the keywords that we need now as you can see there was no keyword found in the url that is also very important you have to have a keyword within your url so what i would recommend is adding keywords that is related to your domain so that it's much more easier to search for as well these are the match types so keyword is equal to broad match and if there are keywords are within the columns that means that is the phrase match and if they are in these brackets then that's the exact match so what i would recommend keep some of the keywords within brackets within columns so that it's more targeting a wider audience then we just simply click on continue now we have to create an ad over here you enter in the file url you enter display patches so as you can see this is going to be our ad this is not a real website so we have to change this one the best and over here just another wordpress website we'll change that to and then over here illustration of bird flying we'll change that to then we have to change headlines as well you basically add some of these words and you also have to make sure that um, these words are according to your website as well and within your description as well they all match that's when your ad is perfect and once you have done that you are good to go and you can see the ad strength over here as you can see currently it's poor we have to add more headlines include more popular keyword make your headlines more unique and make your descriptions more unique as well and then you are good to go so we can view these ideas over here so but there are no suggestions as of yet and once you have done everything you are good to go then you can just simply click on save and continue and then you have to confirm your payment option which is as you can see, pretty simple. You add in your location, your billing country, and all of that, your organization name, your card details, billing addresses, automatic payments if you want to, or manual payments, it all depends on you. Then you click on submit and you are good to go. Then your ads is complete. And that is how you use Google ads within the expert mode. It has tons and tons of more features and benefits. I highly recommend if you are going to be using Google ads, use it within the expert mode. And having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.